Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my skincare empties video. Um, so I've been saving up all the products um, that I've used up um, so I could talk to you about them. Uh, tell you what I think about them and most importantly whether or not I would buy them again. Now um, I have worked in the beauty industry for quite a while so it does mean that I get to uh, try out a lot of beauty products. Um, I do get given a lot of stuff for free. Um, which means that I have stuff here that is quite expensive, which I wouldn't necessarily personally uh, pay full price for, but if that's the case, I will let you know. But some of them I would definitely buy myself. Um, so I'll tell you about them as I'm going along. Starting with cleansers, the first one is this one here. It's the Nude Clen Perfect Cleansing Oil for Face and Eyes. Now I think they've um, changed the name of this one to like Nourishing Cleansing Oil or something like that. But as far as I know, it's the same product and it is really, really good. It's one of my favourite oil cleansers. It comes in this handy kind of pump top. Uh, so you just pump a couple of squirts into your hand, massage it into your face while it's dry, uh, and then rinse it off. You can use it to remove makeup or just to cleanse your skin. It's really, really nice. If your skin is sensitive, it's particularly good, which mine is, especially in the winter. Um, and... Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. We'll definitely, definitely buy that one again. Next cleanser is the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. This one is a cream cleanser, and it smells absolutely incredible. The jar is completely empty, but it still smells really nice. It's really kind of creamy and uh, rich, and you, again, just uh, work it into your face, massage it around a bit, and then remove it with a cloth. I really love this one. I think I've been through like two or three pots of it now, so obviously I would buy it again. Um, but it's definitely not one for everyone, just because if you, some people can be a bit sensitive to essential oils, and this one does contain a lot of essential. Ugh. And this one does contain a lot of essential oils, so just be wary of that if you are a little bit on the sensitive side. This one is the Ren Rosa Centifolia Number One Purity Cleansing Balm. Now this one was probably my least favourite of the bunch, although I did, I was good and did use it up. I do hate to waste things, so even if I don't completely love a product, I do try my best to use it up. Now this one smelled really lovely, it smells a bit like kind of a spa experience, very rosy and nice. The consistency is lovely, but the one thing I didn't like so much about this is it had a tendency to sting my eyes a little bit. I like a cleansing balm that you can like really get your eye makeup off with and really have a good massage. And if, if it's going to sting my eyes, it's not really something I'm going to buy again. Then on to some toners. Um, I used up two of these Cordley Beauty Elixirs. These are so famous in the beauty industry. I mean, I don't even really need to talk about them. Uh, they're basically, but I will, as you can see, uh, they're basically like a spray-on toner. They smell amazing. I think they have like rosemary and mint and other stuff in Oh, that smell. Oh, I don't know why I'm spraying it. There's nothing left in it. Um, yeah, the smell of it is just so familiar to me and just instantly makes me feel nice and refreshed. I love using this in the morning, particularly when I'm really tired and um, just feeling a bit like meh because <laughs> it just instantly um, refreshes my skin. I don't know how much of that is like the fact that it's cold because it's in a glass bottle and how much is the actual product, but I think it does make a, a difference. So yeah, obviously we'll buy that again because... Two. On to serums now. I have rather a lot. I'll talk about the Sarah Chapman ones first. Oh, I have two of them here, um, or boosters as they're called. Um, so the first one is the Intense Hydrating Booster, which is the number one. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it's a fantastic product. It's basically a hyaluronic acid uh, based serum. So it adds like hydration to your skin, locks water in there. So it's fantastic if you get those like little crepey dehydration lines. Um, I also found it lasted me quite a long time which was quite nice. Then onto the other one, this was the um, Overnight Exfoliating Booster which is number two. Um, I didn't like this one as much. I think if I hadn't have tried that many kind of exfoliating serums before then I would have thought that this was quite good but because I've tried quite a lot um, I wasn't that impressed with this one, um, so I probably wouldn't buy it again. And the, the biggest reason for that probably is my next empty, which is Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which is not only my favourite exfoliating serum, but also probably, actually definitely, my favourite skincare product of all time. It's just amazing. I've used up like five, six bottles of this. I don't even know how many. 
Um, I lost count a long time ago. I've written a full review of this on my blog, so I'll link that down below if you want to have a read and find out all about all the different ingredients in it and what they do and stuff. But basically, it's an exfoliating serum. Uh, I pop it on usually every other night, although you can use it more or less depending on your skin. And it's just excellent. It instantly brightens your skin. Um, it's great for like pigmentation. Uh, my skin is extremely prone to pigmentation. Anytime I get a breakout, it will leave a scar and that scar will be there for ages. Luckily, I very rarely get breakouts, but um, while I was pregnant, I had quite a lot of breakouts on my forehead and unfortunately, a lot of them have um, left their mark. So I'm using this to get rid of them. So obviously, I would buy that again. Another one from Sunday Riley. This one is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Now, ooh, bottle's a bit dusty. Um, now I am counting this one in the kind of serum category because it's like a retinol and I would use it in the serum stage of my skincare, although it's an oil. Um, this one has been in the empties file for rather a long time because you're not allowed to use it while you're pregnant and I finished it just before I got pregnant and my baby is now eight weeks old. So this has been in the empties file for nearly a year which explains why it is so dusty, but it is a fantastic product. I haven't actually gone back to using it yet. This has just kind of reminded me that I need to um, get back into using it because it is fantastic. Um, it contains a retinol, so great as an anti-aging skincare product. Um, good for fine lines and wrinkles, good for pigmentation, just a really great all-rounder. Great to start using kind of once or twice a week, um, which is how often I tend to use it. But then um, the more anti-aging skin concept uh, the more anti-aging skincare concerns you have and the older you get, the more often you can use it. On to oils now. Um, now I have rather a lot of oils. I tend to use them a lot because, as I've said already, um, my skin is quite dry, quite sensitive, so I tend to use them in the day and night every day. A few drops added into my moisturiser in the daytime and then either on its own or layered with a moisturiser at night. Juno, I've used up two of those. Obviously it's the one that's um, particularly good for sensitive skin um, and adding radiance to the skin which um, if you live in a cold climate and if you have that dry sensitive to your skin can very easily look dull so this is really great for that so it contains like vitamins A and C uh, really good for your skin uh, omegas in there to really help strengthen it which is really good if you have that sensitive skin it helps kind of build up your skin's natural resistance in a way um, it, it's also very, very antioxidant rich, which is what I really like about it because I think um, antioxidants aren't spoken enough about in the skincare industry, or not in the skincare industry, but with people who use skincare, I should say, consumers. Um, and I think they're so important because using a really good antioxidant uh, regularly can really help prevent uh, early signs of ageing. So I feel like the industry is very focused on reverse, 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 but actually if you use a good antioxidant you can really do a lot to prevent. Um, so that's something I'm like really, what's the word, uh, passionate about. I'm passionate about antioxidants. Anyway, uh, Juno is very rich in antioxidants, so I tend to use it in the daytime. Uh, it's like my daytime oil, so I definitely would buy that again. Um, I have worked for Sunday Riley before, uh, but I'm not working for them in any way at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've been given their products for free. I've bought them myself. Next up is my Demamil face oil. Um, this is their autumn facial oil. And this is actually the only oil from them I've tried. But I really, really love it. It was I used this up quite a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. You don't obviously have to use it just in the autumn. Although Demamil kind of designed their oils to be used for used during different seasons. So... Um, it deals, their oils are specifically blended to deal with the skincare problems that come with that season. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I used this one from starting in the winter into the spring, but I wasn't moving to a colder climate at the time, so it kind of made sense. Um, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. It smells amazing. Um, very herbal, although the smell isn't really the point. It was just really nourishing for my skin and it gave it exactly what it needed. Um, so I'll definitely be trying out a few more Demamiel oils in the future. Um, if you have any recommendations of particular ones, let me know. I know they also do a really good cleanser and a few other really nice products. So I'm, they're def definitely a brand I'm going to look into a bit more and try a bit more from. Right, next up, eye creams, or rather eye serum. I just have one in this category. Um, I think that's because I have a few on the go and I tend to get through them quite slowly. So this one's the Oskia I Wonder Eye, yeah, I Wonder eye Serum. Uh, comes in a little palm in a jar 
and it's very very lightweight um, I just put one pump over both eyes I find it really really cold I think it's something to do with the glass jar it's like really cooling and refreshing and it really like wakes up my eyes um, and it's like moisturizing as well so uh, it does a bit of everything really but yeah it has lo lots of lovely ingredients and it keeps my skin hydrated so I will definitely use that one again in fact I think I already have another open one on the go I have the Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream which is one of my all-time favourite moisturisers for the day. It is so fantastic for sensitive eczema prone skin, which I feel like I've said a million times in this video. People who have rosacea as well particularly love this. Um, smells a little bit herbal, sinks in very nicely, doesn't leave like a greasy film, which a lot of kind of sensitive skin moisturisers can do. Um, so de definitely, definitely would recommend that one. I've been using this on and off for like years. I always have one in like my stash although I don't use it necessarily every single day. I just like to have it there as an option and I always go for it when my skin is feeling particularly sensitive. Uh, the matching cleanser is fantastic as well. A few more products. This one is a lip balm by Caudalie. It's just their basic lip balm. They only do one. Um, absolutely fantastic. Love it. I've gone through about a million of these, so definitely buy that one again. Next up is the Natural Bisse Tolerance Enzyme Peel. This is like an exfoliating mask. Um... It looks a little bit like a jelly kind of marmalade texture. You pop it on, leave it on for however long. I can't remember, it's been quite a while since I used this out. Um, and then rinse it off and it just kind of exfoliates away a layer of skin. It's not like a granule exfoliator, it's an enzymatic exfoliator as the name would suggest. Uh, there are a lot of similar products on the market. I think the most similar product to this would probably be the Oscar a renaissance mask and I'd say that one is probably one that I prefer and it's a little bit cheaper so for that reason I probably wouldn't buy this one again but again liked it while I was using it um last up is the good things manuka honey radiance face mask now this mask is 5 99 yes it is so cheap in comparison to so many of these beauty products but this is just like fantastic this is one of my favorite face masks um i have been through like tubes and tubes and tubes of this i've already repurchased it um and i already used it this morning <laughs> um i just absolutely love it it's so good it does a bit of everything it's a great all-rounder so it contains white clay for like really deep cleanse to help declog your pores um it's got like honey and beeswax in it which like manuka honey which obviously by then as you can tell by the name um which really helps um re like hydrate your skin and kind of soothe it and it also contains papaya enzymes to like exfoliate your skin which is really great so you get um kind of cleansing exfoliating and hydration all in one mask and you only need to leave it on for 10 minutes sometimes i leave it on for even less Another thing I really like about this is when you put it on, it's really, really cold. So if you're if you were just woken up with that like puffy face um, and you're really tired, putting like a cold mask on it is just so nice. It just feels so refreshing. So sometimes I use it just for that property, but it is a really good mask. And if ever my skin is just looking a bit crap, um, and I know I want something that will definitely make it look better, I reach for this one over more expensive things so yeah quite easy to use um and have bought that one many times so that's all of my empties thank you for sticking with me if you made it this far i know that was a lot of skincare products but as i said i have been sitting on them for a very very long time my future empties videos will not be this long um but i do have a kind of second part of this coming out next week which will be kind of like hair and bath and body products um so anyway i hope you enjoyed that i hope you found it useful if you have any um questions about any of the um products that i talked about in this video whether it's about what kind of skin it's good for what kind of ingredients it contains and so on and so forth just ask me in the comments and i will get back to you and everything will be linked down in the description box below of where you can like buy the products if you're interested um, and that's it really. I think I can hear my little one waking up. So I best be off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!